Hi guys and welcome to another Divi4 WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've been doing a few uh, videos here about uh, menu decoration, and today we're going to decorate our menu. We've done underlines and hover effects and things, but you can affect these individually. For instance, if you want one page to stand out with a different sort of look than the others. It's pretty easy to do and you can do this with any WordPress theme. I'm just using the awesome Divi theme here. So let's go ahead and do this. As you can see, I've got my contact menu item looking a little different from the rest of them, you know, just to stand out there. Really easy to do. So let's go ahead. We'll be writing some CSS code today. And if you go to your dashboard down to Divi, to theme options, we're putting it in the custom CSS box here. You can also do this from the customizer, custom CSS but I prefer this darker background. So let's delete what I've got going on here. As you can see, it's not a lot of code. And don't bother trying to copy what I'm doing as I'm doing it. I'll put this CSS below the video for anybody that wants to use it. You're more than welcome to. Right, so let's go back to our page and refresh and this should have disappeared now. So we're back to just a normal default menu. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and inspect the element we wanna affect. And with Google Chrome, it's got the great Chrome inspector here. If you've got elements tab selected, you'll have HTML. And if you've got styles tab selected on the other side, you'll have CSS, which is what we want. Now, if we look down at all of our menu items here, as you can see, it's sort of scrolling through them as I hover over them. Each one's got a unique number here, menu item, 3454, 3452, 34, etc. So we can actually target these individually, which is what we're going to want to do today. So I'm going to copy that menu item 3454. I'm just double clicking on it to highlight. So I'm going to copy it. Control C. Now I know it's a class because it says it's a class and all classes when we write them have to have a dot in front of them. And I want to affect the actual list item, but I want to affect the A tag, anchor tag, or the actual link itself. So I need to have menu item 3454 A to target the actual link there, but I've got to put a dot in front of it CSS wise. So let's go back to our custom CSS. And I'm going to write a dot, and there it is. But I want to attack the or affect the anchor tag, so I've got to put that there. Now, when we write CSS, you've got to have opening, closing, curly brackets for any code you write has to go within those. So we're targeting the right thing now. Let's just write some code that we want to put in there. So I'm going to make sure I'm on the A tag here. First thing I want to do is give it a background color. And we'll say blue. And you put in whatever hex color or whatever color you want for yours. And as you can see, it's way too deep. So let's put some padding in and make the button more like a button. There we go. One entry just gives it 10 picks all round, which is great. So we've got our blue. Now I want to make the actual writing itself white. So for that, I just write color, white, or FFF, or whatever color you want to make yours. I think I'm going to have to add the important class to that once I put it in there. We'll see, but it seems to have done the trick for the moment. And I'm also going to give it a border, a blue border, two picks solid. So we'll say border, and we'll say two pixels, solid, and also blue. There we go, so that's grown that a little bit. What else do we want to do? Oh, I'm going to give it some slightly rounded edges. So let's use a border radius. I'll say, let's give it 10 pixels. There we go. It's fantastic. 
great so that's pretty much all I want to do so let's write this into our custom CSS sheet I'm just gonna go from the B of the background to the last semicolon of the 10 picks there control C to copy or you can right click and copy go to our custom CSS we've already put where we want it to go there so in between the curlies let's just paste that in there what I'm going to do is save those changes Got the green check mark I'm going to refresh see if we need to tweak this at all to make some of this stand out I've got a feeling that's going to revert back to our dark color there Okay, yep, and the padding's changed in our dark color, so we need to make those important to override any previous styles. So let's go ahead and do that. This is the color, white, so I have to put important. Don't like to use important unless I have to, but I think we have to here. I'm going to copy that, and the other thing was the padding, wasn't it? needs to be overwritten so I'm going to paste that in there save that and see if that's fixed what we had going on here it's just update fantastic yeah we wanted it blue and we wanted that white so that's changed that so now we want to do something else on hover and what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll actually change the writing to blue change the background to white but I'll leave the two pixel blue border on there so it'll be like a highlighted button like an outline button so let's go here let's copy all of this from the dot to the closing curly bracket drop down a couple paste it in there again after the A I'm going to put the colon and then hover with no gaps in between so it's a no gap colon no gap hover don't put any gaps in there it will not work okay so the background we want that to be white now or whatever color you prefer the writing will have that blue border we're going to leave border radius so I can lock those off because they'll already apply we don't need to have them in both places padding we can take off because that's not changed as well there we go let's just save those changes get the check mark go back to where we were refresh our page now when we hover over it there we go we've got the opposite going on and you can affect all these others individually as well if you want to make something particularly stand out or want to make it different from the others that's the way to do it so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.